Bizarre Brain Comics. Hello, my comic book friends, and welcome to Bizarre Brain Comics. I am Gary, your host. This is where I like to take a look at some older comics, talk a little bit about characters and creators, and examine the stories and the art. This time, we're going to talk about comic book heroes of the screen. This is a book by William Scholl. And you might say to, say to me, Oh, Gary, uh, uh, that's got to cover an awful lot. There's so many superhero movies out there anymore. Yes, but before the DCEU, before the MCU, before the continuity-twisting X-Men movies, before the Blade movies, even b before the that poorly written Batman and Robin movie, this book came out. This is from 1991, and it's talking about uh, live-action productions of uh, comic book and comic book adjacent heroes and characters from the big and little screen. And uh, the author of this book is William Scholl, uh, a writer who I uh, whom I know virtually nothing about. Uh, th this is the only book by him that I've got. He w he is a novelist, or was. I don't know if he's still alive. And uh, based on the titles of the list of mo of uh, books, novels that he's written, uh, that seem to be mostly in the horror vein. And he has written another nonfiction book about horror movies before this. After this book, I don't know what he may have written. And of course, even at this time, there was a, a respectable history of comic book characters in TV and film. And here you can get a better view of the entire cover. <laughs> and as I said, this was 1991. So. And it starts off with the character who is probably best known for in his uh, TV and movie roles. And is, of course, Superman. And this is uh, even before, I meant to say, even before Lois and Clark and Smallville and the, uh, the Arrowverse. Oh, yeah, all that is just a pipe dream at this time. And we go back to the 40s with the early stages, with the, uh, the uh, um, um, cliffhanger uh, movie serials, uh, two Superman serials uh, starring Kirk Allen. And as you can see here, he made a... a respectable um, image of Superman for any time. And and the book covers in the uh, the basic plots, talk a little bit about the actors uh, of these of these various productions. I'm going to the George Reeves T V series and up to the Christopher Reeve version from the 1980s even covering the uh, the poorly poorly written supergirl movie starring helen slater and helen's little note about helen slater is, is of course uh, she played supergirl and then uh, years later in the supergirl tv series she played uh, supergirl's um human foster mother and the her um Oh, I suddenly can't think of his name. I just had it a moment ago. The actor who played Superman in, in Lois and Clark, Dean Cain. And Dean Cain played her human foster father. Then off to the other biggie, The Batman. Again, with the movie serials. Up through the 1960s, campy 
Batman TV series. And culminating with the with the uh, 1989 Batman movie. Didn't cover any of the, any of the others because they hadn't been produced yet. One that can say can consider this almost the modern age of uh, the superhero movies. We take a look with at Captain America, and here is a was from a uh, 40s 1940s movie serial, and I don't know why they even bothered. I enjoyed watching. I just love those old movie serials. <coughs> Excuse me, but. Um, I don't know why they even bothered uh, calling that Captain America. It wasn't Steve, uh, um, um, Steve Rogers, at all. Some other character. He, uh, there was no super soldier formula. He wasn't a soldier at all. He was a, a DA in California, and he just fought criminals, regular criminals. Not e this is during the war years. It wasn't even fighting um, spies like they had in the Batman serials. Up through the very lame 1970s uh, uh, TV movies, and this was even before uh, the uh, the the very lame um, 1990s movie that went straight to, straight to video. Um, that was in pre-production, and they did mention it, but it didn't have anything to show from that. And Shazam, Captain Marvel, of course, and this is actually. Uh, the movie serial is one of the, one of the best uh, um, comic book based movie serials, and uh, the the first uh, featuring a superhero before Batman, before Superman, they did Captain Marvel, of Sh uh, Sh now known as Shazam, and had some very respectable special effects, flying effects, and and the like uh, for the time. And into the 1970s with the Shazam TV show. Then we have a whole bunch of the other stuff all thrown together. Of course, we have Wonder Woman, Flash, Spider-Man, and the Incredible Hulk. Lou Ferrigno made a great Hulk. And I, in a way, I kind of wish they still had, uh, for the current movies, still had an actor in makeup playing the part. Then we go on to The Flash. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, The Flash from, uh, I think it was 1990 and 91. Uh, it talks a little bit about the, uh, uh, the, the, the pilot episode. Uh, this show only lasted one season, starring John Wesley Shipp. But, uh, but Shipp has a long tradition with The Flash, starting here in this TV series. And then he has was uh, brought in originally just to like to be cameos uh in the uh the current flash tv tv series from the arrowverse as um barry allen's father and then he <laughs> wound up being also being the uh the jay garrick golden age earth 2 flash and f in the in the course of events he this version of the flash was brought in to their continuity as well uh, in, in the multiverse. And of course, he sacrificed himself in Crisis on Infinite Earths. And there's too much, too much of all kinds to uh, mention, but here they even talk about Popeye. And then talk about just a bunch of other comic related uh, um, movie serials. And here's Kirk Allen, the, the super, Superman from the serials, also playing, uh, playing Blackhawk, and he, and he cuts a great figure as Blackhawk here, as well as he did as Superman. And even on to the Green Hornet. And this is a fun book, which make, takes a fun look at uh, the history of characters from the media that we love being interpreted for a wider audience. And we get a glimpse into that world, and at the, some of the images of these these interpretations of the characters. So I want to thank you for joining me. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Share it. You can share it with some of your uh, uh, friends who are big film buffs, 
or comic book film buffs. Because some comic book fans don't like any of the movie interpretations of the characters. And le so let me know which, which of these versions you liked best. Or did, what ones have you seen? What did you like? What didn't you like? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, dear readers and viewers, <laughs> comics are art.